What is happening guys, I am Genius Tech Tips and today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing some amazing camera equipment from KF Concept. Let's get into it. Yes, as I said, today is going to be unboxing, but today we're going to be unboxing a tripod. And normally I don't do tripods and all that, I normally do camera equipment and that. But I've never really unboxed a tripod until today. So the reason that I want to show you guys this tripod, because it's not just a basic one that you would buy off Amazon or anything like that. This is one of the most amazing tripods I've actually ever had my hands on. So the one I'm currently recording on at the moment is a Discovery one. So yeah, it's good. It, you know, it extends to about five and a half feet but sometimes that's not what you need sometimes you know i do a lot of overhead shots and it gets very complicated when i'm trying to do that while using the tripod that doesn't allow it so what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at this one in particular well before we get into that if you guys are enjoying these videos please don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell it's totally free and if you don't enjoy it you can just unsubscribe so think about subscribing anyways guys hit that like button if you do enjoy this video going through so what we're going to do is we're going to go through this, but first of all, we have to go to a word from our sponsor, which is KF Concept. So what's happening, guys? Yes, this video is sponsored by KF Concept and their KF SA 2540T1 tripod. Over here at their website, they do do a phenomenal amount of products, starting from tripods, camera bags and equipment to camera lens adapters and also the lens filters. They also do a variety of different types of tripods and outdoor cameras equipment. So head to the link in the description to go over to their website and check out some of their phenomenal products. So yes guys, this video is sponsored by KF Concept. So they have kindly sent over one of their amazing tripods which we are going to be looking at today. And I'm going to be showing you everything that the tripod has to offer. Also, we will have to do a little bit of outside shooting due to the matter of fact that if I extend this fully, it does not even fit in my room. Exactly. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to get this unboxed and see what we have on the inside and start talking about it from there. So guys, as you know, when I do an unboxing video, I literally do the whole unboxing from box to finish. So that's how I like to do it. So first of all, we're just going to start off with a carry case. Now, you don't really see that many tripods that come with a carry case and it is extremely sturdy. You have the nice... KF Concept logo going on there and you also have the reflective strips going on as well just in case you are traveling in the dark. So what we're going to do is open this up because I'm extremely excited to see this tripod in action. So to start off with we have the tripod which is wrapped in plastic just in case. Obviously you have the bag, you have an instruction manual and an allen key and you also have a very nice carry strap. This really is going to come in handy especially if you do a lot of traveling. So we'll pop that away. Probably the instructions are there just to show you a little bit, but we're going to go into detail anyways, so we'll go there. So, pop that to one side and we'll get this unpackaged. Wow. Look at that. Now, if that's not a beautiful scene, I don't know what is. That is gorgeous. So you've got the nice black going on there with also the orange as well as, which really does give it a nice look. Uh, very definitely does add to the aesthetic so it's a bit different this time because so what we've went for the legs is this time they went for more twists so it's more of a a twist cap and then extends rather than the clips that you would normally see so in my eyes that probably does look a, li a lot more sturdier compared to clips because clips do tend to break after a while so that is a nice little feature so what we're going to do is go up to a little close-up and we're going to go for each part as they are so guys, what we're going to do is start off by the clip mechanism. So how this tripod actually does stand up as a tripod. So what it does is it has these little clips and you can just see them. So as I slide that down, it just clicks in very nicely. So when you try and lift it up, that is going nowhere. So it's very strong and sturdy. And it's just as simple as pulling the clip down and then just rotating it back up. If you wanted to see that position or not. And that really is, oh, that sound is amazing. And it really have went into massive detail. So even on the clips themselves, it says KF Concept. And it really does make the design of this amazing. Yes, guys, as we're saying, this tripod doesn't have the normal 
um, normal clips on them it does have these rotating sleeves instead which really in my eyes makes it seem a lot cleaner and a lot stronger so with these it's just as simple as one rotation of that and then the legs extend straight out same with the other ones and it really is just it's just so smooth and obviously with one hand it just seems a bit easier and there we go nice and steady and very secure and this really is it just i don't know i just i think i prefer these to just the bog standard clips now you also have the feet on the end and the good thing about these is yes they have the little pivot there but on some areas you might not be able to get it uh, fully flush to the ground and these feet actually do twist so they have a little screw thread on them which you can start seeing there so when you actually have this set on the deck you can actually move these feet to actually get it perfectly centered and perfectly level and they're on each of the feet as well as <laughs> which in my eyes is a great little addition it seems to be the small things with this tripod really are phenomenal so guys i have the tripod on my desk at the moment and it's not fully extended but it is still absolutely huge so what we're going to do is talk about this center column here so as you can see you've got your three legs here and also this one here which is a little bit different so as you can see this one actually has a, a set of rubber on it which the other two legs don't and it also has a little disc here which allows us to actually unscrew it and that is so we can use this tripod as a monopole but you will see a video coming off very soon um, of me actually explaining what it looks like as a monopole so what we're going to do is look at this central center point here which is this so this is really nice so a simple one twist of this allows us to drop the whole column down and it really is as simple as that so this is obviously allowing us for adjust the height and everything but you have this amazing contraption going on here as well now this really is nice so if i just give that a twist you can see there we have a little ball bearing joint there as well and we also have one here so this one is actually for extending it so we can use it as a vertical or horizontal arm which i'm going to show you right now so here we have it guys so as you can see we have the two bearings going on here so you have a single ball bearing there and you also have one at the top. So the reason we have one this one here is to allow us to record and move the tripod into a vertical or horizontal position. So if I untwist this dial on the side here and slide this all the way up, it will go onto a bracket which actually comes towards you. So if I tighten that up there and untwist this, what it allows us to do is, is to get some great shots. So see if you're going to do a panorama shot and you've got your camera attached to the end, all you've got to do is simply move it around and the camera it will guide it all around it allows you to do 360 degrees all around and it really is great but if you don't want it out too far all you have to do is twist this in a bit and actually slide it through and it even gives you a little bit of a pivot arm so if you want to do say some close-up fast shots and you want to get right in detail as simple as that but they are so smooth so the mechanism inside that is actually rotating on you can't hear a thing it really is it's so smooth when moving so if you are recording, say, in nature or something like that, and you don't want the, the grinding of the tripod moving, which a lot of them do do, this really does add into the quality. So this is what we're going to look at. So we're now we're going to look at the chuck part of it as well, which is where the camera would be mounted also. Yes, I know you can't see my head, but this is because this tripod is so goddamn big, I can't fit it anywhere. So what we're going to do is, as you can see here, we have another ball bearing, and we also have a couple dials going on. So the dial on the side here is, if I untwist that, allows this whole head to move and you've got full rotation even downwards and you've got full rotation on the head. So the dial on the side which is here which stops this whole area from twisting and moving and you also have your millimetres going on the side so you know where you were recording. But slight little untwist on that gives you full range of this and yet again the inside is extremely smooth so you can't hear it. The dial on the top here, which is for the bottom plate, which is for the camera. So this slides completely off. So it makes it a lot easier to attach to your camera, which you actually have this little posi drive and little flat head. Allows you to just twist straight on, making adjustments very clear. And then on the top, as you can see there, you also have this very small spirit level. So when the camera is set on here and you're on a even pan, you can pop your camera on here and even use the spirit level to know you are on a flat ground which really is amazing this this tripod has so many different features and um, i'm scared i'm actually forgetting some of them so like i said we are going to go to an outside view as well showing you how high this actually does extend and uh, we'll go through the specifications as well as just after that 
So what is happening guys? Yes, as a change of scenery, we are outside in my garden at the moment and there is a very good reason for that. So as you've just seen some of the clips there, we are talking about the KF Concept tripod and the reason I've had to do it out in my garden is because of the pure size of it. Now, I have a very ultra wide uh, lens on my camera and I'm still not sure if we're going to be able to see the full depth of how this camera works. So this can spread to a very high height. I'll put the specifications just on the screen there of how high this guy can actually go. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to speed it and quickly get this extended to its fully its full length. So. So guys, I'm not sure if you can actually see that, but that is crazy how high that is. And that is not at its full height at the moment. So at the moment, it's currently sat round about, I'd say about five and a half foot. It goes higher. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Can you see that right there? Sorry about the wind. The wind is quite bad. But as you can see, this tripod does extend to a massive height, which is unbelievably phenomenal. And the tripod itself does have a lot of features going for it. You can also bend the swivel as well and make it mono. So I will show you that now. So guys, as you can see, the tripod mount itself does actually reverse. So you can mount your camera from underneath. So especially if you want to get them low angle shots right to the floor, this is the best idea for this because you can retract it and you can even extend it even further down. And because of the type of tripod this is, the bracketed arm does swivel as well. So if I lock that in there into position, as you can see, if the camera is mounted on the end here, you can also move it around, but you can get some very, very low depths when it comes to this tripod. And I've always wanted a tripod like this that can maneuver from top and bottom and just a pure height, you know, it's, it's unbelievable. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a few clips up of what this tripod does look fully extended because even though I'm running at ultra wide angle lens, I can't gather the whole amount of the tripod. So give me two. This tripod itself can also be used as a monopole, which I'm going to show you right now. Monopole meaning that you can use a tripod alone with just one leg instead of having a tripod as in tri meaning three. So I'm going to quickly whip that up now just to show you how it works. On the three legs itself, you have a, a detachable monopole going on right here, which is just a little thread. And all that does is simply just, it just twists off. So it's the only pole which actually has a thread on the bottom, which seems a bit, a little bit weird for people that don't actually know what a monopole is. So the way this works is as you detach the bottom of the tripod here, which has a little twist off. So that's all twisted off now. And then all you've simply got to do is the orange little sleeve here is give that a twist and that just slides right out. So the rest of this tripod, you don't actually need to use now. Just put that part of the tripod on one side and then all I need to do is screw these two parts in together. What I'm going to do. So as you can see, there is your monopole. So yes, this does extend even further out. I'll put the specifications on right here of how far it does actually extend out. But I am also going to do it for myself here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get this in the frame, but just the pure size of it is phenomenal. Yes, guys, I couldn't even get that in the frame. That goes to show how large this monopole can actually go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it down to the minimum size you can use it at, which still is a reasonably great size. So if I drop this down and this part, and there we go. So there is the smallest part of the monopole, which does stand reasonably quite high as well. So guys, there you have it. That is the huge tripod. What we're going to do now is we're going to go down to a lowdown into some of the specifications and actually go step by step to why this is one of the greatest tripods you can actually use everything from vlogging to camera equipment to photographers you could use this for absolutely anything and this really doesn't match to anything on the market i could actually possibly find so we're going to go through some of the specifications now and we'll jump straight into it so we'll start off with some of the sizes so straight out the box this measures in at 16.9 inches which is roughly 43 centimeters 
This tripod can fully extend to 66.9 inches, which is 170 centimeters, which is a huge size. You can't really get any tripods on the market for that at this price at all. So some of the great features with this is a micro photography area, which is a center access can be inverted to give you the option for low shooting angles shown right above. So the main capacity of this guy is 22 pounds, which is roughly about 10 kilos. And you also have the center column lock, the strong locking force clips. So it's all aluminum magnesium alloy with a forged technology, which is hardened anoid uh, treatment as well as. The ball head at the top is a 1.1 inch, which is 28 mil uh, ball head, which is a large sphere for more stability. The great thing about this tripod as well, it can also be adjusted into a monopole, starting roughly at about 17.7 inches and it can reach a massive 69.3 inches in height. So yes, this camera can be used as a monopole or it can even be converted into a hiking alpenstock too. So one of my favorite features about this, it also has a 360 degree horizontal rotation, which allows you to get some phenomenal shots and some great angles when shooting. So guys, yes, this is the KF Concept TM2515T professional 60 inch camera tripod. So guys, there you have it. That was the KF Concept tripod. Uh, the actual name of it and everything is right there. If you do go into the description, you will be able to find a couple links there which will have discount codes where you can go straight to them, apply a discount code and get this for a cheaper price. But, so guys, yes, if you do go to the links in the description, you'll find some codes down there which will be all the things that you need to grab yourself one of these at a cheaper price also. Um, but guys, I would recommend going to get one no matter what you do, whether you're a YouTuber, a vlogger, a photographer you name it this tripod has has endless capabilities and can do near enough anything you could think of that a tripod needs so yes guys uh, first of all i just want to thank kf concept for sponsoring this video and sending over your tripod i just want to say thank you um i didn't realize how good that this actually was going to be from the photos but it has done amazingly it is going to be a perfect permanent part of the tripod family which i'm currently running because I have a camera right there but on a tripod, two other tripods holding the lights, and I also have a little mini one for my GoPro as well. So this really is, is going to be the permanent part of the Junius Tech Tips studio. But yes, anyways guys. But guys, that is at the end of the video. I Please, uh, if you did enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. It is completely free and it would mean a lot to the channel. But I also want to say thank you very much for the lot of you that have been purchasing the merch uh, at Junius Tech Tips. Uh, links will be down in the description. Um, I think I've had nearly 100 sales in the past six weeks. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this channel. So thank you very much, guys. At the end of the day, that is the video. Thank you very much, guys. I am Junius Tech Tips. And I'm out.